the U.S. has opened a new embassy in Tonga to increase Washington's diplomatic presence in the Pacific region to counter the rising influence of the Chinese Communist Party. According to the State Department, the new U.S. embassy was officially opened in Nukualofa, Tonga's capital and largest city, on May 9th. In a statement, spokesperson Matthew Miller of the State Department said, This opening symbolizes the renewal of our relationship and underlines the strength of our commitment to our bilateral relations, to the people of Tonga, and to our partnerships in the Indo-Pacific region. The embassy in Tonga would help the U.S. deploy more diplomatic staff and resources, including the possible appointment of a resident ambassador. The U.S. established diplomatic relations with the Pacific country in 1972, with relationships dating back to 1886. The opening of the U.S. Embassy in Tonga came after the White House announced on Tuesday that President Joe Biden would visit Papua New Guinea this month after the G7 summit in Japan. Biden will become the first U.S. sitting president to visit the country, confirming the U.S. commitment to the Pacific region amid the CCP's influence. The U.S. opened an embassy in the Solomon Islands earlier this year after 30 years. The reopening of a U.S. embassy in the Solomons comes after the CCP signed a security pact with the Solomon Islands last year. Washington also has been in talks to renew cooperation deals with three major Pacific Island countries, the Marshall Islands, the Federated States of Micronesia, and Palau.